Hello to everyone. My name is Nidal Gassoum. I am professor of physics and astronomy at the American University of Sharjah here in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, I have done astrophysics research in many different parts of the world, including having spent a couple of years at a NASA research center. Uh, I continue to do research here with colleagues from the UAE, from the Gulf, from Europe, and from the US. And my most exciting activity is when I involve students uh, to have them discover space, discover the cosmos, and participate in research that can uncover new, um, new things in the world. Well, the UAE has been investing uh, major efforts and resources into space industry and space science. For the past 10 years or more, the UAE invested money into uh, satellites, for example. So there were the Dubai Sat 1, Dubai Sat 2, ya Yasat, and now they're preparing the Khalifa Sat. So there was a lot of space technology. And then in the last two years or so, there has been this announcement of a Mars mission, a mission to Mars, the HOPE uh, probe that is going to be sent in 2020, arriving over there in 2021. So the UAE has spent and has launched major efforts and major initiatives. Why should, there, should that be? People always ask, why are we spending so much money into space, discovering things that do not have any application in our lives? Uh, why should I uh, invest in initiatives or in projects that are not solving direct world problems such as epidemics, such as famine, such as... Uh, climate change problems, uh, and all kinds of real sort of day-to-day -day life problems. And I always say that, uh, first of all, there are a lot of applications to what we do in space, to what we do here on Earth. So, for example, the satellites that I mentioned, all of them have applications are actually are exclusively and solely targeting the Earth here. So we monitor what happens on the ground, if there is, for example, a sandstorm, if there is any planning for some project, how we're going to lay, to lay down the uh, framework for building this or building that, the telecommunication, all of that is done by, by satellite and cannot be done otherwise. So even if we want to develop things here on Earth, we have no choice but to go to space and do things from space. Secondly, there are many uh, unplanned applications to what things happen in space programs because space requires nanotechnology, requires atomic science, requires radiation science, requires chemistry, requires medicine. So all things that we need to develop in order to do space program. And as we develop these things, there are uh, spin-offs, as we call them, sort of side applications to what happens here on Earth. Uh, thirdly, because that is the best uh, field for innovation. If we want the UAE to be among the innovating nations, not just buying technology from somewhere, applying it, using it, but starting to innovate, the best field for innovation is when you launch projects into space because that requires engineering, it requires science, it requires uh, project management, it requires all kinds of avenues and people face uh, uh, problems that they had not met before. That's when you are required to be creative and to become innovative. So if, as we understand and we are beginning to see, the UAE wants to make this quantum leap and be among the nations that develop new technologies, that participate in discoveries, etc., then I think the space uh, venue is the best uh, to be invested in. Very good.